Hi, my name is Orna Feinstein and I would like to talk to you about 3D mono prints. This is an example of one of the prints that I've made recently. Before I talk to you about the 3D mono prints, I would like to show you one of my 2D mono prints. This is a print from 2008 from the Branch and Rooted series, the more organic side of my work. The process of making a mono print is by applying inks over a plexiglass, manipulating the inks and then applying a paper or fabric over the plexiglass, running it through the press and then lifting up the paper to reveal the mono print. In 2008, I decided to add more dimension to the prints, so I started to print on fabrics and plexiglass. I want to show you one of the first prints that I've done on paper and fabric. This is a print that was done on paper and fabric and then stitched together. By doing it, I achieve a little depth by leaving space in between the fabric and the paper and also I get some movement. When you move around the print, you get different effects that are not achievable by a 2D print. This is a 3D mono print from the Quantum Dynamics series that I began in 2010. I start by printing over a paper and then I print over a plexiglass a different image. When I frame it, I make sure that there is a 2 inch distance between the plexiglass and the paper. This way I create depth and movement that is not achievable in a 2D mono print. When you move around the 3D mono print, you see how the image is changing from every angle. If you go up and down or left and right, you get a different image. This movement adds additional dimension to the 3D mono print that is not achievable in a 2D print. This is a 3D mono print from the new series, Trunk in a Box. As you can see, I printed over many plexiglasses and then I mounted them up one on top of the other, leaving space in between. This way I achieve more dimension and more movement in the artwork. When you look at the 3D mono print from the top or the side, it seems as if there is an object inside the box. However, when you move up and down the piece, there is no object inside. As a matter of fact, it looks totally different with every inch that you move up and down or sideways. Seeing the 3D mono prints in person will give you the full effect more accurately.